mail bag time go through these things see what's in here that might be a review item I'm not sure we'll find out don't forget the links down below to buy items if you're interested in them also you can buy me a coffee if you're interested in supporting the channel you can do the patreon support if you want or you could just buy me a coffee um, patreon support is probably better because you get more feedback but if you just want to give me a donation to help me to buy things in mailbag or buy best test equipment to do videos about you can just buy me a coffee links down below in the description thank you very much everyone does support me it's a bag of bnc covers so if you've got bnc adapters and things like bits of test gear for example you can put these little covers on to help protect them keep them nice and tidy and these ones actually come with these little clamps as well that one hasn't fallen off but here's another one the clamp is there so you can attach it to the device and then so you can have that so you don't lose it i mean a lot of my equipment i've got these things on i'll show you i've got these things on little rubber boots and these are what I've been using but you can actually attach one of these to it like it's a rear panel or something like that and you can have something a bit more permanent a bit more robust which you also won't lose and also added benefit these also add shielding whereas obviously the rubber ones don't got a bunch of those now I was actually trying to find some of those with like a three lug as well for triax connectors haven't found any yet if you know where I can get some of those let me know now I've got two of these boxes which look the same I'm not sure if they're the same item or not well that's great <laughs> Okay. Guess it didn't fit in the box very well. I'm sure it probably doesn't matter. Here we go. Just bend it straight. This I was thinking of for things like this situation. We got a connector you need to clean. All right. It's got a brass connection. This is all brass. So yeah, I think it's brass anyway. Um, so you can use that to clean the insides of connectors when they're quite tarnished and just clean them for clean up um, I get lots of old test gear and usually these banana jacks are a bit tired and so I wanted to get something I could clean them with I've also got this other one which I think is the same thing yeah there is it's another one the same no, different sizes or anything yeah they're both exactly the same part why don't I send them in the same box? That's just crazy. There you go, I've got another one. So two of them. Same reasoning. Allen key set. I went to go and do some stuff the other day and realised that my Allen keys are not particularly well organised. I've got various parts of kits around. So I thought I'd get another one. Got keys in it this time. Because I got it from AliExpress, not Timo. Yeah. That's a good Allen key. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty bad. Okay, well. Yeah, the case isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But that's often the case, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> This one's also curved, see that one there? It's got a curve in it. Yeah, these aren't the best quality. But sometimes you just want something, you might only use it a couple of times a year, you know, if that. You don't really care about them being not the best, as long as they don't like bend as you're using them. These don't really scream quality to me, so I don't think these are a particularly good set. They weren't expensive though, but you know, that kind of shows. And we've got this thing here for some reason. And this thing here. So I think these are meant to screw together like this. And then you can put an Allen key in there and use it as a lever. But to be honest, I don't think these Allen keys could take having a lever on the end of them. They'd probably just snap straight off or bend. So I think it's more of a gimmick than anything else. But anyway, it's there. Okay, three of them. I don't think I bought three. I think I bought one. <laughs> Maybe it's one set of three. I don't, know. <laughs> don't remember. Handheld magnifier thing for checking things. I don't know how good it is. Thought I'd get a couple. Well, apparently I got three. Nothing I bought three, but anyway. So a little loop. 
and looking at details trying to see the best way of figuring out how to use it yeah okay it's the best brand one 10 times mag yeah 10 times sounds about right but it's also got a little light on it so if you need a bit of vision you can do that too and it just folds in so it's like a keying one but although I think that's kind of there's nothing to hold that in place it'll just get caught on things and just fall out so I don't think the keyring thing is a particularly great option you can use it to hang it somewhere you can do that but I'm pretty sure I didn't buy three I thought I'd just get one and try them out and have a look at them and see if they're any use I wouldn't have bought three of them if it was like just trying it out and see if it's any good or not that's a bit weird maybe it's a pack of three uh, okay next package let's see what's in this one What we got? We got some Troyax cables, yep. Copper clip leads with three lug Troyax. So I got these to replace my two lug Troyax because I'm thinking I'm probably going to put a three lug Troyax on my Q3220. So the Q3220, the Troyax connectors failed now because it was damaged. It was actually a bit bent and stuff like that. It's just giving bad connections and you don't want it on a Triax connector or any connector really it's kind of got a two lug Triax on it and I was debating whether or not I do a two lug or a three lug Triax a three lug makes it you know more modern because that's a standard these days and prevents you from accidentally putting a BNC connector into it and two lug is the older style which is you know from that time period I already bought two lug Triax cables to go with that unit but thinking well if I modernise and go to a three lug my cables don't work although I do have another device which also has two lug Triax cables on it so uh, it's, they're not completely useless so I'm going to use them on that device instead so I thought I'll get some three lug Triax connectors and then I'm not restricted I can go to a three lug on the Q3220 and that's that solved and done so I've also got the crocodile clip versions and the banana versions here now one thing I was trying to find was actually a three lug to two lug adapter can get a fine one. Seems you can't go backwards, you can't go three to two. I mean, there must be out there somewhere. I just haven't found them. Um, then this connector here, that's a two lug to three lug. Again, means I can use a three lug cable on my two lug device. So this is modernizing a device. But I kind of want to go three lug to two lug. So I can go new to old. That way I can use every cable and every device. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, if you know where I can get one of them, or ideally off eBay or something like that. I mean, AliExpress is fine. I mean, the eBay seller these are coming from is actually on AliExpress. You can get them with AliExpress as well. I mean, the cables I've tested so far have been fine. So much cheaper than like Keefley ones or whatever. These are considerably cheaper, but they seem fine. At least what I'm doing. But if you know where I can get one of these, which is the other way around, that would be great. I'm like getting slightly bigger packages now. There might be multiple things in here, we'll find out. What we got here? This is a Dremel set. An actual um, collet set for Dremels. Hopefully these will actually fit mine. Now, I've bought some before and they didn't fit. I got these ones ages ago because it's got the same kind of collet on there, right? So I'm thinking, okay, it's the right set. Does not fit in my Dremel. I think these are like 4.8mm or something. These ones are 4.3. I don't. These are the right size. This seems to be like two choices of sizing. So I've got both now. But this is the old one which didn't fit. So I've got a smaller one, which might fit. I don't know. We'll find out. What's this thing? Oh, it's another one of them. Which means this is probably another one of those too. So I find it hilarious that. I've purchased four of these, they come in four separate boxes posted four separate times instead of all together at the same time. These are four millimeter ones, so these are probably better suited to the um, banana jacks because the other ones I've got were three millimeters, so these should actually be tight fit. Yeah, that's a tight fit there, all right? That's tight, so that is actually going to be a much more effective one. And we could do it, you know, gently with this and just try and gently, you know, scrub it with that or you can just basically force one of these larger ones in and pull it back out again and that'll probably do it once um, yeah okay great so 
Okay, I figured out why I've got three of these things now. I was going to give two of them to somebody else, well, two other people, for work. I was going to give them to people at work, because they, there's a certain job they do at work, which is hard. You need three hands to do it, you need a screwdriver, you need a magnifier, and you need a torch. And it's all done at arm's length. Yeah, I don't know if these would be suitable for the distance or not. It's worth a shot on it, because they were cheap, they weren't expensive. Yes, it is a review item. Okay. So this is the Miniware TS1C called a soldering station. So it's basically a soldering iron which has a super capacitor on it and it allows you to basically use it as a cordless iron. So you can power it up and you know you can have it in the stand apparently and you know get it initially powered up and heated up with that and then the super capacitor will, will maintain it for a period of time. I think it's 15 minutes or something I think they said it was. I can't remember exactly what it was now. But apparently, you can do that. It's just case open. It's an interesting packaging. It's almost like it's like a folding half, but is it? It's a weird packaging. How does this go? Because it has like a seam in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. And it also comes, in this case, I requested these a range of soldering iron tips to go with it because I don't have any mini wear soldering iron tips. I got asked for the full selection of soldering iron tips so I can look at them all in a review. So watch out for this review coming up. It will be about this and hopefully by then I've figured out how to open the box. That might be far away. Maybe the next video you see might be Wednesday's video. Dunno. We'll see. Depends when this video comes out. So subscribe over here if not really subscribed. Page support link over there. Help support the channel. Two dollars a month even. It all helps. Helps to buy things for the mailbag. And down below there you can also do a buy me a coffee, which uh, is a one-off donation if you want to do that instead. No commitment, it all helps. Channels are expensive to run, you know. Cost me a lot of money. Catch you later.